All right, you guys, we're in week two of this crazy five-week deadline mm -hmm. schedule that we have for this massive portal sign right. for SunTracks right. project, right? We're rolling along pretty good, too, man, and I think we're doing well. All right, all right, we're going in the fabrication department. We're going here to talk to Steve first. We got Steve and Robert headlining this event. All the rest of the shop is support staff to them. So we're going to go here and talk to Steve. Man, look at this. It's like a sea of aluminum out here. I mean, we got these giant eighth inch sheets of aluminum here, just yeah. straight square footage. And this massive four by four frame work over here. What the hell is going on? Steve, tell us what's happening in this department. What are you working on? Currently, all these boats that you see standing around the shop, that's the cladding that's going around the monotube all the way across the highway. Guys, look at this. These things are three and a half feet tall, three and a half feet deep, and obviously three and a half yeah. feet all the way around, okay? So each one of these modules is 224 square feet of aluminum laid over this four by four aluminum frame here, right? Correct. So this is gonna get mounted to that giant steel monotube that's already over there in, installed, ready well, to go, right? It makes right? the steel prettier, yep. right? Yep. That. It makes the steel pretty. So right. we're gonna cover up all the big structural part with something that's prettier. So how big is this section here? Like how long is that? 15 feet. 15 feet, okay. So this is say section eight in the middle, yep. and then you've got section seven and six. Yeah. Five, five and four, four three, three and two, two, and then the little one one or little half size ones. Start, yep, so we're talking the nine of these 15 foot sections. Yep. So nine times 224 square feet, we're talking about approximately 1,700 square feet of eighth inch aluminum and uh, 1,700 square feet of paint that's got to go on that aluminum, yeah. right? All right, so Steve, give us a lowdown on where we're at on the schedule and what have been the hardest challenges that you've had to do building these sites? Mm, right now, I think we're ahead of the schedule. I think so, too. You know, the challenge has been this angle right here. Four by four structural, quarter inch thick. Yeah. I have about 60 notches in each one of these. Yeah, it looks like you got a curve cut like Just every three or four inches. Yep, four, the whole length, all the way down the four inch. So you're cutting into this four inch aluminum so that it can curve yep. to the shape you want. And then how are you attaching this four by four to the panel? Glues and screws. Glues and screws. <laughs> okay, all right, good deal. So this thing's crazy, dude. It's like a, it's like a ramp, huh? Steve called it a boat. It's a boat. boat. So, <laughs> it looks like a boat. Look at this. So this big 15-foot boat, and there's another one over here, and uh, several more over there. Like, this one looks like it's ready to go to paint. we got to get this thing coated. Why isn't it over in the paint department? It's, I have to figure out and move a bunch of things just to get it there. We have too many pieces. So of we're stuff. filling up this whole shop with this big, giant project. So here we are, people. 30,000 square foot, massive facility, wide open. No way we're ever going to fill it. And here we are a year and a half <sighs> later, and we got this project that's so damn big, we're having to move things around here yeah. in order to make it. It's like a maze. Yep. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, right? Robert hasn't Not been to his station building. in a week. We're totally buying another building. Another building. <laughs> Hey, look at this green letter. Let, let me see what's going on here. Well, let me tell you, there's seven, seven of these letters that Steve built in a week. Retainers, everything, they've been to paint, they got the inside painted, they got the outside painted, and now they're back here. And now they're back. Let's take a minute to analyze that, just one second. So we got eighth inch aluminum on a six foot channel there that spells out S-U-N-T-R-A-X. And the X is kind of funky shape, yep, right? The T is seven feet. And we have more curve cutting. We welded eight inch aluminum side returns on this letter that's 063. So we got eighth inch back here, 063 here. Mm -hmm. And then you did this one inch. What mm -hmm. do you call this? An in, inner retainer? Inside retainer. Inside retainer. So we talked to a few people at the, at the sign show and they about wanted the to ask about this. Yeah, like yeah. what would you do? So this is one inch aluminum angle that you curve cut. Yep, curve cut the whole thing. Just like mm -hmm. these four before. And then what? What do you do? Um, it's glued on with epoxy. Okay. So after the face sits on top, the metal retainer goes over it. My screw goes through the retainer and into this one inch, right through the 063, not Boom. coming off. Got done. So this, instead of using jewelite or a little metal retainer trim, we're actually fabricating an inch and a quarter. Inch and a half by, by inch, inch and, and a half quarter. By inch and a quarter mm -hmm. metal retainer. So we're building it just like the letter. Steve cuts the eighth inch mm -hmm. face out, welds a little inch and a quarter mm -hmm. 063 rim around it that, that mounts into this. The only reason that this one inch curve cut 
metal is here is when we put the acrylic down, it doesn't fall all the way through the letter. It has to have something to sit on, right? Right, and we have the one and a half inch or one and a quarter inch on the face of the retainer so that you don't see this when you it lights up. You don't never see this inside. when it lights up. Right, the now outside take, retainer covers that. And you gotta take into consideration the actual font and the letter style on the logo because you're actually taking and you know two inches away from the right. actual letter font. That's so you have to point. adjust yeah. for that, but only when it lights because when you're when, when it's done, it's gonna be the perfect letter stroke. You just gotta make sure you compensate for what it's gonna look like at nighttime and make sure that the font is not too skinny mm -hmm. and based it on this. So Sun Tracks built inside retainer, outside retainers. The guys cut all the acrylic on the router table. They sheeted them in purple yep. and green translucent 3M vinyl. We painted these high reflective white. Now it's back over in your station. One week, people, four days on the build, one day paint them up, five days, these giant six foot channels. How big is the T? Seven feet. Seven feet. So the yeah. T is even more massive. That is phenomenal, awesome work. And then in the very next week, he built all of these big cladding boats that we're calling them. There's nine total at 15 feet. One, two, three, four, How many five, do you have built? I have all of them built, but the two small number ones. So seven out of nine, and, and the remaining minis. two are half size ones. Yep. In a week! That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. That's man. a lot of work. You tear that stuff up. That's amazing. There's only one other thing left on this whole project, and it's those massive white fins that go on the sides of this deal. Mm -hmm. Let's go talk to Robert and find out where he is on that. Yes. We got four of the big fins done. He is finishing up to the medium-sized fins. Okay. And we got some pieces of parts over there for the third medium-sized fin. Yep, okay, gotcha. So, so, all those fins, there's three fins, right? So that would be three fins here, three fins here, but they duplicate, so they're on the back of the sign as well. Mm -hmm. So we got three, six, nine, 12 fins all together, right. four of each size. Right, and we have six, four of the bigger size, two of the medium size. Yep. They're getting smaller as we go. So yeah. we're halfway done and they're getting smaller as we go down the line. So it should be faster. So while Steve was building those channel letters and building that cladding, Robert was over here welding up these giant four by four frameworks for the fins, which is a lot of mathematics and all this trying to get everything all set because they have to mount together and mount around the cladding structure that Steve's making. Mm -hmm. So Robert, you just got done with that massive steel X structure for the last two months and now you're on to these massive four by four aluminum frame structures. Tell me, you know, the difference, tell me size-wise, how well, they compare to that. I have what? a question. How, why did it take you so damn long on the X sculpture and you're knocking these things out like with a quickness? Not I don't a even question. get it. They're just aluminum. They're just aluminum. <laughs> Thankfully, they're just aluminum. Yeah, remember on the X, we talked about how much time it spent welding that steel. Oh yeah. yeah, the majority of the time was spent on the steel. Yeah, yeah I think that's mostly yeah. what you worked on, a big giant steel welding pass and seven mm -hmm. passes, it's just ridiculous. So when we came to you with this project and said, hey man, we gotta build this thing in four or five weeks, it, it well, the, the vibe that we had was, well, at least there's no steel in it, <laughs> you know, minor, minor stuff. Yeah. But the aluminum, so you're saying, is easier to work with. Easier, I mean, just the design is still causes problems. You, you know, the, the four by four by quarter, we can't get in uh, an architectural line. It, has, it only comes in structural. Because yeah. the difference between structural and architectural is? Yeah, it, it's got, it's webbed on the inside. It doesn't come down on the inside to a sharp point and then come over, it comes down and it swoops out. So if you're building stuff that goes together, you gotta get rid of that swoop. Yeah, so like on this, I can't just butt this up and then use a, a piece to go over and weld across the top like we normally do, I have to physically cope this out. So I have to cut the angles, then I have to make this cut and that cut, then go to the table saw and rip it out. Wow. And then go back to the saw and notch this so Where that it clears is. the little round is, and then put it in, tack it like that, and then I have to weld all the way around it. Dang. Yeah. So it's, so. I mean, it is aluminum though, so I can, you know, I can weld fast. It's not as bad. Okay, so what do you got done? You got the four big giant the Four ones. big ones ready for skin. Uh, I got like two, three more welds to do. I just ran out of wire. Uh, yeah, I got a couple welds to finish on this one and then this one's done. And then you've got these two pieces here that will make the third one? Or no, they make no, half the, this is of half, the third and This fourth. is the solid side because these are reliefed out. Yeah, these two on the floor are the, the full sides of the next two fins. The face so these are, the, these are mirrors of each other. I still have to build it out. We just talked to Steve about not being able to get the product into the spray booth, but check this out. Here we got this big giant fin over here. 
We got another, is this a giant one or a medium one? Medium. That's a medium one, dang, look at it. So we got these here, two more over there, one there, we've got cladding over this area, we've got a stack of cladding over there. Let me try to put our skateboard on that joint. Look at it, a little bit more, get a little half pipe going. You got one here on the floor, one here on the floor. He's working on this one on the stall horses over here. Man, this place is freaking packed. So we got to get this product done, get it painted, and get the hell out the door. Robert, come tell us about what you just said you had to relief cut, or what were you saying here? The first fin is like that, too. It's got a big chunk missing out of the back corner, yep. and there's a big chunk missing out of the front corner. This is just to support holding that leg at the right angle until we get skin on it, because sitting inside this part that's empty is the 66 inch mm -hmm. footer, concrete footer that sticks concrete up out of the ground. If you guys remember from that episode way back when we poured those big giant round footers with those 80 pound giant bolts sticking up out of it, that is what these fins are going to yeah. encompass. They're going to yeah. shield that. They're going to go over that concrete. Make it pretty. So we have to make space for them inside the cages of the fins. So yeah. it's going to look like two solid fins, six solid fins on this deal. But in reality, it's kind of yeah. open it's in open the middle because yeah. it's got to engulf that entire giant footer that's sticking out of the ground. Like we asked you before. How are we looking on the schedule and how are you feeling about everything getting done on time? I'm not sure I want to know that answer. You might want to walk away while we talk. <laughs> um, we're, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, I'm fairly on where I would want, where I want to be in my head. But one of the problems we had was one of the bundles of aluminum that we got, they're not 90, they're too wide. So what do you mean? They're not they're like spread open yeah. from the wide 90. So, this is a piece that I already have cut and it's good and it's square like it's it needs 90. to be. We have to have, they have to be square to build a frame out of them. Right. For some reason, I don't know whether it's shipping or how they had them packed, this entire bundle is out of square. Yeah, oh look no. At that. By 3 16 of an inch and four inches. Just that little bit. And that's yep. not going to work when we're making a square cabinet. Yeah, I can't, I can't use them to make frames. Steve can't use them to keep going on the, uh, on the cladding. We could curve cut it, but any angle I cut on that, it's going to be wrong because it's leaning away from me. Wow. Stack might have been dropped and just the weight, the pressure of everything made everything splay out or something. Now, why did you even one. check that? I would have totally built this whole thing and it had been done and it had been whacked out because why did you check this? Is well, that I mean, a standard you, thing that you check? If I, you put that up against the... Um, Against the saw back, you're going to tell right away see. it's not 90 yeah. degrees. Oh, yeah. When you're going to cut. yeah, this entire bundle is bad. I had eight sticks out of the other bundle. Like I had to go through and pick out the good ones and the bad ones. So then before we even carried all this stuff over, so you like, knew right why away don't we check this check one before okay. we move, you know, wow. a thousand pounds of aluminum. That's a, that's a pretty tricky little thing there. I've never even heard anything like that. So I've, I've, never, seen them. I've never seen them this bad. Very yeah. unusual, but wow. it happens, you know. Well. Our supplier is going to take care of that, so oh, yeah. we'll get that thing replaced tomorrow and get back on schedule. Now, it's been two weeks and you got six structures built, so we still got six to go. And then next week, we roll into a whole different phase of what we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. Because now, the vast majority of the big construction stuff is going to be done, hopefully, right? The letters are already done, painted LEDs in them. They can put, wrap them up, put them on the shelf, they're good to go. The cladding, if you walk over here, take a look at this cladding right here. <laughs> that Steve's working on. So we saw a couple of them over there. We got one, two, three, four of them here. So that's six. There's a few more he's gonna be making. These products here all need to be painted really soon. So we're planning on spraying these guys with brushed aluminum, AXO Nobel paint, base coat, clear coat. And we're gonna do that with AXO's help because they're sending a painter down here to spray with us. This Friday and this Saturday. So the paint crew is going to be working this weekend, yep. getting all these guys painted. So hopefully by Monday we come in and there's nine cladding sections fully painted off to the side, ready to go. We'll have cladding, we'll have the letters done. You're working on the fins, we get the cages finally built. We'll be sheeting those next week and hopefully yep. by mid to end of next week we're painting those bad boys white and we will have every single element built yeah painted, ready to go for the install, which we'll be following up as soon as we get these pieces yeah. done. Steve will have these letters wired up within the next couple days, have the faces on them, they'll be set aside, wrapped up, ready to go to install. So yep. the painters get on these, 
So it's still a crazy, crazy schedule, but we're doing really good. We're real happy. The client is real happy with our progress is the important thing. <laughs> but Robert, great, great job. Man. Thank you. It's awesome. So the last department is kicking ass over here, of course, is Renee heading up the paint department. Yes. So we already know what's happening over here. Steve got all those letters built. All the letters got painted in green and purple and all the retainers got painted yeah. all inside with high reflective white to bounce those led lights around and you've done a couple of little few little projects going around but the real <laughs> test for you is still coming right because you got those massive sections oh, yeah. now there's nine sections they're 224 square feet each so it's almost a full gallon yeah. of paint on each one yeah, of each those one. Wow. and we've got eight or nine of them i think eight at the same size um What's, what's happening with those? Are you ready for them or what, what are we thinking? So the plan is uh, Dragon from Axel Nobel is going to come by here and help me spray those um, pieces. So our, our people from Axel Nobel, who we are hanging out with at the show, mm -hmm. they're flying Dragon, a big giant dragon, you know from the show, <laughs> that dude's crazy. <laughs> they're flying him in from, where is he from? Like Virginia, North Carolina, North Carolina. somewhere up north. But he's flying in here this weekend to paint with us, to paint Friday, Saturday, to try to get these cladding pieces done. And because we're a newer client of Axo Nobel and they're really, you know, you can really see that they're really involved and really, you know, excited about coming down and helping us with this big massive project. It's huge. It's gonna be giant. And the fact that they're willing to do that for us, it just, yeah, that's awesome, yeah, man, we they, love it. They wanna make sure they turn out perfect and they're gonna show Renee and these guys how to make it perfect with their paint. Yeah, yeah. Yep, the, yep, the more exactly. I learn about their paint, the better. So the trick with those is that they want to make sure that since they're all separate pieces that they all match when they're all together. And brushed aluminum is not necessarily the easiest not easy. to get it that uniform color when you're spraying different... Metallics are harder to spray. Right, because gun distance, gun pressure, pressure the temperature... Anything changes. Everything changes metallic color. So wow. that, that's a real good point. And the fact that they're willing to come down here and help us with this is just amazing. So amazing. we're excited about getting that done. Dragon claims that he could have those things painted with you in two days. Yeah. Two days. So we're talking 1,700 square feet of brushed aluminum in two days. That's going to be amazing. So we'll be showing you guys that as well as next week, once Dragon's gone, we got those big massive fins. Now there's 12 of those, 25 feet, 18 feet, 14 feet. Crazy. Now it's all going <laughs> white and that's going to be on you and Saul and Luis trying to get yeah. those all done. But we got to yeah, follow up those claddings right with that. But the cladding is the part we need first. Mm -hmm. That's the part we're going to install first. So right. banging those out first and getting them out the door is going to be great. So now our installers we can, can start doing their thing while we're finishing up the other pieces. And on this tight timeline, there's no way we could build everything, paint it, and then take it all out at one time. And plus, there's several days of install out there. It's not going to be a one-day thing. Yeah, so that's the best way to do it is to get this fabricated, paint it first. They can take this on, start putting it up while we're still working on the fins and painting those. Ooh, it's nervous around here, y'all. We're doing really, really great for two weeks. The client's happy, we're happy. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. We gotta start that install next. It's gonna be a crazy few weeks, and we're really excited about you guys riding along with this. Whether we make it or we don't, it's gonna be fun for you guys. <laughs> All right, if you guys are liking this, please hit that subscribe button. You know, we need to get more likes on the channel. Let us know about what you're thinking about these episodes. We'd sure like to hear from you guys.